Get tree to reload current scene will restart the current scene or level that you were in. Get tree will grab the core of the scene and reload current scene will restart it. Now, if you want a button press to restart your level, go to project settings, then input map, type the name for your restart input in the action box and press the add button. To the right of the newly added input, press the plus, then type the key you would like for restarting and press OK. In the script you want input for restarting, go to the physics process function, check if is action just pressed and type the name of the input we created within the brackets. When it comes to checking inputs, is action just released will return true when you release the key for that input. Is action pressed will return true while the key is held down. Is action just pressed, which is what we will use, returns true once after pressing the associated key. To add a loading transition when you restart, first add a canvas layer node so that the transition visuals overlay the game. I'll add a color rect resize to cover the screen for the fade effect. Lastly, add an animation player to handle the transition logic and visuals. Selecting the animation player, I'll set up a simple fade animation. I'll set up the fade out animation by creating a new animation, naming it, then adding the keys for both solid and transparent color. To have this animation play as soon as the level loads, toggle the autoplay button to true. Creating the fade in or restarting animation, repeat the previous steps. After that, go to the node tab on the right, select signals, connect the animation finish signal to any script. In that script, check if the name of the animation that is finished is the same as your restart animation, then add the restart code. Finally, go to your input code from before, have it check if an animation is being played, then have it grab the animation player and play the restart animation. To take this a step further, we can pause the game while the restart animation is being played. We can do this with this simple pause script. Get tree grabs the core of the scene and we can set the dot pause to true or false. Next, we'll make sure that the game begins unpaused by setting get tree dot pause to false in the ready function. Then we will enable get tree dot pause after playing the animation. Finally, we will select the animation player node, go to process and set the mode to always. This will ensure that the animation player will keep processing despite the tree being paused. Mm -hmm.